Hello everyone, welcome to my online edu.com's video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll see how to build a Docker container for your PHP 7 and MySQL based application. So here is the blog on our my online edu.com's website which you can refer but in this video, you know, we'll show you uh, live how to do that thing. So imagine that you have an application on PHP 7, you are creating using PHP 7 or some, any, any version of the PHP and there is a backend need for MySQL and you want to containerize your application. So wh here what we'll do, we'll create two containers, one for your PHP application where the PHP will be there along with your application code and another container will be there with MySQL as a database and then we'll write a code in PHP 7 to interact with your MySQL container and basically you know get the data from there. Also we'll see how to you know use the uh, PHP my admin uh, for for you know administration purpose of the MySQL database. So so let's begin with this uh, demo. So here we have a code structure where the PHP codes are written. So it's a simple, very simple PHP code, okay? And I want to, you know, containerize this application basically just for, you know, for, for the example purpose. So what I'll do here is, I'll first thing that I have to do is write a Docker file, okay? So here is the Docker file. So if you look into this Docker file, it is starting from uh, the PHP 7.2 version with Apache and then you know I'm running the app to get package to update it and then you know I'm running the my uh, the, the the PHP extensions for you know the MySQL and the PDO uh, stuff and these are the things that is have been used to create a directory and then copy our file which is under this www directory over here to the directory that we have created and then we are running basically the cp command the copy command and from here www star to we are copying this all the files to the html directory of the php from where it is running so this is pretty straightforward if you need any help please you know uh, refer to the docker website they have given the instruction on how to uh, create these files but this is pretty much what i have explained to you it's nothing but installing the php from this command and then you know it's installing the the php extension for mysql i and pdo and then it's creating the directories you know according to my own uh, directory structure then copying my files the local files into this directory and then you know copying from th that directory to actually php uh, php home directory that is where wwhtml so this is the directory from where the php will find the data so that's it so now what we have to do is we have to uh, build a docker container out of it okay so here is the command that i will write to build the docker container so build this dot means I am in that directory where the Docker file is there, and this is the this is the image name, and this is the tag of that image. So I'll run this one. Fine. So this image is built. So you can say you can see you know uh, this image by running this command. pseudo docker images so here you'll see that this particular demo application container has been created correct and now you know this is the image has been created now we'll run it okay so to run the application basically they run the application the image the docker image we need to write this particular command this command can be you know in a different different way but more or less you know this is the same thing that you need to write so here what we are trying to do is here we are you know uh, forwarding the port from 80 to this particular port so I, our application will be available into this docker server here in this port 3001 sorry 30001 
and this is the name of our application for the docker docker uh, execution and here you know we are uh, volume you know we are mounting a volume to the present working directory slash www to this particular directory in php where the php is running and then the image name so we'll run it so this is running in the background uh, because of this hyphen d and hyphen it so in, in in a detached mode it is running so to see that you know uh, this particular uh, image is basically this particular content is running you need to write docker ps command here you see that this particular content is running and to see it how it is running we need to access this by localhost 30001 remember that we uh, you know we, we basically map the port of 80 with this particular 3001 so we got this one correct and now I'll show you in your development environment one thing that if you change something here okay any anything in the code so this is in my local machine and I'm, I'm you know modifying this thing into my local machine and then if I go here so you see that change is being reflected here so why so that is being reflected uh, because if you see here you know we have mounted our volume so the php directory inside the container it is actually mounted into my present directory slash www so basically if i change anything in my local directory so that will be modified that will be reflected immediately so that you don't don't have to create the image and then run again every time you make a change so this is the, this is a good way to you know uh, for your development purpose because you know it will help you to uh, make a frequent change and then check back your application if that is running through docker container but in production obviously you will not uh, try that one so now as you have seen that this particular thing is working my application is working so let me just you know um, uh, delete this container okay So what I have to do is I have to give a container ID over here, docker rm-f. So now if you see the docker ps, the container is gone. So nothing is running. So if you try to run this one, you will see because uh, you know the page is not available because the container is not running. So now let's go ahead with this particular uh, stuff uh, with our application. Now with the PHP and MySQL stuff. So here is a code for you know uh, here is a code for connecting to PHP application. This code is also given into the GitHub as well as our uh, blog. So the blog link is provided into the description of this video. But to to create the PHP 7 as well as you know uh, your MySQL application. So here, you know, you need to uh, uh, provide, you need to basically create a Docker Compose file. So if you are aware of the Docker Compose file, uh, what it means is you can, you can, uh, you can uh, spin up multiple containers using the Docker Compose. Okay, so here is the Docker Compose file which we have used for our three containers. So up to this part is our PHP application. As you can see here, we are using this particular image here. Okay. And then we are passing the environment variables through this Docker Compose file. So what is the host name of the MySQL application? And what is the username and the password and the database? And then if you see the PHP code here, actually we are reading the environment variables for this information the host port password and the user and then you know we are connecting through the mysql i extension with the database so then second is in docker compose file is the mysql so here you know what we do is we are using the standard mysql 5.7 image which is available in the docker hub and then we are passing the root password, a user, and a password, 
and the database so when you do it it basically you know it will create this password this container with this password this user this password and this database and this is the name of that mysql app container which we have used here and the third is the php my admin okay here we have we have used the standard you know a php my admin image from the docker hub also we are passing this environment variable the our mysql application name as well as the 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 pma port for you know for the the port for that database mysql database so it's pretty straightforward but here you see that it depends on the mysql so basically the mysql will run first and then this one so now what we'll do here we'll run this docker compose file and then you know we'll see how these three containers are basically running okay so here is the command sudo docker compose up hyphen hyphen build so this what it will do is it will build the images if it is not there and then it will you know it will up the it will it will keep up the containers so written in the docker compose file so i'm running it it is basically now building it you see here it's been it's been built and then you know it will start running it okay so our application has started running now if you if you if you you know if you run our application here you will see that again it's back because right now it is running through the docker application correct see that docker containers if you want to see you see here there are three containers are running basically okay so one is the my php app one is my php my admin and then one is the mysql app so these are the details of that particular stuff so now coming back to our application you know uh, there is one more uh, stuff over here what you, which is basically the php info as you know that you know all this information is available here the php related information so now let's open the php my admin now if you go back to your docker compose file here you see that the php my admin so it's running on port 3002 so if you open up the local host Thirty thousand two. So your PHP MySQL application is running. And if you remember that when we created the PHP um, the, the the MySQL container, you know it it was we have passed one user and the password, or you can use the root password. So we'll use this user and the password. Okay, and you see that there will be one database created here. Now you can access the database. And to see the a sample data script, which we have already created, you can run the script to create the table and insert couple of records into it. So this has already been done. So, you know, if, if there is a, this table is available. And here two records are there, basically it's item table, you know, dummy item table. And now what we'll do, we'll try to access or connect it from this PHP application. So this is the MySQL connect.php. Here you see we are able to connect to this database and we are getting the data from that particular application. Okay. So it's the item name is there, item description 1 and 2 and 103. Just to test if it is connected properly, what we'll do is we'll update, you know, uh, this particular data over here. Okay, so we'll insert one new record here. Okay, so let's say item three. Description is test description three, and maybe the on-hand quantity is thirty. Okay, so we we'll insert it here. 
so if you browse the data you will see that ok so two records have been inserted that's fine so now let's check over here if the inserted records have been are reflected or not you see here so these are getting reflected basically this the last two rows are the new one that we have inserted so that's it so you know that you know how to uh, spin up those application over here and uh, basically now you are able to connect to your PHP uh, application with the MySQL container and and okay one more thing that I wanted to show you that now you know basically you can go inside that container and you can you know run the commands so to to go inside that container basically you will run a bash command so this is my uh, PHP MySQL app so this is the PHP application basically and then you know we are going inside it oh I'm sorry it will be my MOE PHP app so now you see here we are inside this particular application and then if you do a cat of index.php you see all the all the files are there okay so similarly so now you can go also go inside that uh, my SQL container by writing this command where this particular stuff is nothing but your container name which you have written into your docker compose file and then I am going uh, doing a bash and then you can write the MySQL commands here so you can see you know all the details if you run the MySQL commands you know then you can go inside it and you can try the things that you want okay so something like you know you can write something like mysql hyphen u then the username which is moe user and hyphen p so then you need to pass the password now it's connected then you can see so databases so you'll see the databases over there okay so if you are familiar with the MySQL, you can run any command, you know, instead of the uh, PHP MyAdmin, which is a UI based uh, access to the database. But here, you know, you can, if you are familiar with the comments and everything, you can write the comments. So you, you, basically what I did is here, I, I am uh, going through in, inside that container and then, you know, accessing the container uh, with the, the MySQL container with, and then, you know, and is, is using a bash command. And then you know I can I can write the MySQL commands and I can do lots of things over there also. If you do not want the PHP MyAdmin to spin up, so that's it. So that's uh, that's. Uh, I hope that this video will help you. And please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and please share with your colleagues and friends if you find this helpful. And please visit our blog also to find the details. There is a GitHub link. You can find the code there. Thank you very much for watching.